I'm actually gonna bring an extra pair of underwear with me. I'm serious. 12 seconds later. Whew, I'm nervous, really am. Biggest challenge I've had in a very long time. Especially never eating this much rice in one sitting. Six and a half hours later. Whew. Ah. Yeah, this is difficult. Everyone, we are in Bangkok, Thailand. Look at this. This is Bangkok. This is crazy. And we're gonna go do a very famous challenge, everybody. This is the gold curry challenge. It's a curry rice challenge. They offer literally actually five challenges at these restaurants and they've come to find, according to Google, there's like five or six locations in Bangkok. So lots of them. So what is the rules? Well, it depends on which challenge you do. There's a two kilogram challenge, a four kilogram challenge, six kilogram challenge, eight kilogram challenge, 10 kilogram challenge. From my understanding, the eight and 10 kilogram have never been finished. And no, I would not be able to do either of those. That is an insane amount of rice. Yes, like that's the freaking rice. It's just pure rice basically. And there's a tiny bit of curry on top and a tiny bit of meat, um, like a uh, pork cutlet, tonkatsu, donkatsu or tonkatsu, but yeah. So basically just eating rice. That being said, we're about to go. We had a crazy day, had a, had a day of fun and checking out a market and I, I haven't eaten and I'm probably dehydrated. And I had some lovely, amazing Thai curry yesterday, last night. And since then, I have been absolutely my guts out on the toilet all day. I'm talking like running to the bathroom. So I took some Imodium. <laughs> yes, that's my pre, uh, my pre party, pre preparation, preparation for today, Imodium. So I'm actually going to bring an extra pair of underwear with me. I'm serious because um, I don't want to crap my pants. And at that, wish me luck. We'll get you the exact details on the challenge we're going to do. Let's go see what they're all about. Some of them even have cash prizes. <sighs> Let's go eat. Our device, we've made it in really cool. They have all the challenges like all over the place. It is definitely something they very much promote. Um, again, no one has ever eaten the eight or the 10 uh, kilo. Um, and only about three, I guess, people have ever completed the six kilo with Joey Chestnut being the only non-Thai individual. Um, that being said, crazy thing. So if we try the six kilo, which I think we're going to, we can possibly win 10,000 baht, which is awesome. But you also, it, it's a 2,000 baht like cost if you fail, which is, I don't know, again, I don't know the conversion right now, 60, $70, maybe something like that. So there's a bit of risk on the line, but that being said, I guess we'll give it a go. We're gonna have 30 minutes, um, again, from, I think this is, it's almost six kilograms of just rice. And then I don't even know if they count the sauce, but then there's katsu on it and a bit of vegetables. And yeah, I'm kind of really nervous. So probably a bad idea to go straight for the biggest one that's ever been completed. Um, but yeah, at that, they got all kinds of winners on the wall. But now most of these are just from the uh, two kilogram challenge. So a lot of people have done the two kilo challenge um, and a couple people done the four. Uh, the four, you still have 30 minutes, but you don't win any cash. And the two kilogram, you only have 15 minutes. You just get both those for free. And then every one bigger, you get the uh, actual cash prizes. So wish us luck. But it, one thing for sure, it does smell good in here. And uh, I like Japanese curry. I had some in Korea, um, which was amazing. Hopefully this is good. And uh, that, yeah, let's order it.
the six kilogram and this I am very much regretting this decision. This was absolutely huge. What I do appreciate though is they did weigh out all the ingredients. So we do have a set amount of rice, so I do appreciate that. There is actually so much curry here that there's 10 scoops here, but it's 15. So I have a whole other bowl of curry sauce that I have to eat. So now I was given the opportunity of either a beef curry or a pork curry. I got, I said beef, I said, what's the best? I said the beef, which is this one here. But on second thought, I'm regretting it. But I did get this five pork. And because the pork is a lot thinner, it's a lot runnier. This one with the beef is very, 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 very thick. The pork seems a lot liquidier. So I would say if you're ever gonna try one of their challenges, probably go with the pork um, uh, curry. I think it's gonna be easier for you. That being said, we do have the three pork cutlets on top, a big thing of cabbage. Um, yeah, 30 minutes, guys. I think I'm probably gonna bust out the music for this. Uh, I'm scared. I truly am scared. This is so much rice, and then obviously a lot of curry, some katsu, but it does smell really delicious. So that's the only thing that I'm gonna hope. And, and apparently we can win a little bit of cash. So let's see if we can do this ultimately. But yeah, I am very nervous to say the least. So I'm gonna let this Problem. I'm gonna assess the temperature here in just a minute. It seems pretty warm, which is good. I definitely want to get started while it's warm, um, especially with this very thick uh, beef curry. But that, um, whew, I'm nervous, really am. Biggest challenge I've had in a very long time, especially never eating this much rice in one sitting. So with that, wish me luck. I'm gonna start with the pork, the cabbage. Um, they have ginger here on the table, uh, accompaniments of also Tabasco sauce, which is pretty unique, and uh, soy sauce. We're probably not going to use the soy sauce. This is an eel sauce on the katsu, so it's like a sweet um, eel sauce. I don't know what you call it. Um, they do actually also offer free miso soup, so I got two little ones because I might sip them. Like liquid, you know what I mean? I mean, me liquids anyway. But yeah, I am very nervous, everybody. I honestly am. But yeah, start with this stuff, hit the curry, hit the rice. And hopefully it is not too hot. But at that, um, I, I did put a little ginger right here to try. I'm not trying to add more weight, but nonetheless. So let's start. Ooh, maybe at the count of. Hold on, let's see how hot this is. Uh, I think it's okay. Is it good? I, I think so. Hold on. Hopefully, hopefully it's alright. Yeah. Alright, so how we start? Maybe the count of. Uh, let's say uh, maybe five. Can we start? You want, you want more five? No, 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 no. no. Uh, uh, let's 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 start. Uh, it count down. Okay. So so maybe like no no it's okay here like uh, language barrier. So uh, you get ready. Okay. Yeah. Let's do ready? five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Five. Okay. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whew. All right. You ready? All right. So let's get started, guys. Let's say the count of yeah. five, five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. mm. Curry is tasty. Gotta keep this up though. Pork. Too Left to right. And 
we pack the rice down. A lot. We have this uh Beef gravy doesn't move. Gold pork. Miso soup. That's a lot of food. Three and a half inches in. It is quite hot. Whew. It's also, uh, the heat of being so hot doesn't help. How shall it cool off? A little more. Woo. But, uh, believe it or not, there's a little spice on it. Honestly, although I may look it, I don't even think I'm halfway done. That's how much like packed this rice is. Pork curry. Oh my gosh, there's so much of that. Whew. I think I can flavor pork too better. Better. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. About six and a half minutes in. And that pork curry is hot. I'll be hot. I better dump it out of the bowl. I'm gonna pull off. Okay. Ooh, yeah.
Yeah, that's just Jeff Gone. Turn the air on. Thank you. Whew, I haven't turned it off because the food is cooling down, but whew, I need some air myself. Whew. Thank you. Whew, if I had to guess, we have about a quarter left. minutes. I'm not trying to slow down, but man, that's difficult. Whew. So much food. Even though we're in Thailand, this is a Japanese curry.
13 minutes. Woo. Final time was uh, somewhere about maybe 13:45 or so. This is so much food. Whew. Excuse me. Whew. Thank you, thank you. And this is so big, whew, but whew. definitely, I know in this place for a very long time. Their challenges here are, have done by many, many eaters, and even a lot of people who are not eaters. I've attempted to come here to do them. This uh, place in Bangkok, thank you so much. It's just usually the challenge when somebody comes to Thailand if they're gonna try one. And uh, like I said, eater and not eater alike, come here, try them. Whew. Most people only try the two kilo though. Some the four. We're one of the very few people that ever tried the six kilo. Whew. Let alone finish it. Pop down, and that is so much food. But um, for that, we do get a meal free. Apparently, 10,000 baht, which I did, totally even forgot about. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm pretty excited about that. Now I think about it. Whew. I was so focused on worrying about trying to get this done. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. That's about it, everybody. Whew, I am absolutely full, so. Well, I don't want any rice for a very long time, I'll put it that way, so. Uh, but anyone, if you're gonna try it, get the pork broth and pork curry. And I got no other words, so. Until next time, everybody. First, I have the hungry, happy eating. And that, have a day. Alright, so finally left the uh, condo of doing some work. So there's actually like a rental car place here. There's a couple like street vendors, um, like actual, well, I don't know, those, those are more like restaurants. Then we have some more like street vendors here, which is pretty cool, literally like right outside. Some more little food items. A 7 Eleven, which I'm going, ah! Let's go check it out a little, really quickly now, because I want to buy a SIM card. Apparently this is the best place to buy a SIM card for data. Okay, so we went to the gym, and then we went to a grocery store, and they literally sell, like, they have, like, vendors, like, street market vendors, um, in the, literally, right in the, the grocery store. It's also, like, KFC, which is pretty cool. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, there is a, a Burger King. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people with, like, uh, like different sautés and stuff. Some people outside with them. Different dumplings. Yeah, this is a 
that's pretty cool. I mean, literally, it's kind of like everywhere you go is the quote unquote street food, you know? But let's, uh, let's get some groceries. All right, update. There's like a whole food court here and all pretty much like kind of the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I'll call it like, uh, you know, quote unquote sautés and street foods and even a little like arcade. This is called a Lotus. Um, so this is like known to be a bigger grocery store. Here we got kind of different noodles and curries. I don't know, I might, uh, I can even go for some curry here. Green curry chicken, that looks pretty interesting. It is 65 baht, so that's like maybe two fifty or three. Uh, somewhere between 250 and three American dollars. That's cheap. And this is what our plate looks like. Let's just say we loaded it with every vegetable possible. Lots of seasonings, chilies. Believe it or not, there's green curry down here. There's, um, it's supposed to be chicken, but this is definitely liver or something. Maybe it's kidney, I'm not sure, but we'll, uh, we'll get into this and see what it's all about. Pickles, cabbage, chilies. That curry tastes so good. Well, that was the biggest and best $2, 250 to $3 meal I've ever had. That was insane. And because I could add as many veggies as I wanted to, it was very large. Curry was really good itself. I put everything I could on it. Some things didn't even really go with it. I didn't know what they were, but nonetheless, really good. Basically no chicken though. Pretty much just that little bit of like kidney or liver and then a couple like really bone pieces, but still very delicious. And for like two to three bucks, I'm not complaining. What is going down though is on my way back um, in the taxi from the grocery store, I noted the streets transformed like crazy. There was people like streets and streets of, I'll call them like street markets, vendors, people selling stuff like nuts everywhere, like just down the road. So we're going to go check it out because why not? All right, so here's one of the many streets I was talking about. Like I guess it just all of a sudden, the evening comes and it's just lined with, well, we got uh, some kind of like meatballs there. We have people selling, I'm not sure what these are. They almost look like tickets of some sort. Uh, we have bags of fruit and drinks. We have more like uh, kind of chicken meatball things, masks. Here we got some fresh meats. Yeah, they got like, like literally out of nowhere came this market. Fresh fruits, kind of fruits kinds of seafood and stuff yeah this is uh it's crazy i like it here it'll make you like a kind of a what do you call it like a soup thai curry i made to order here uh, yeah i'll show you guys some more this is nuts chili fish now these are like crapaus and like uh soups and uh, like all these dishes are to go like uh so you just grab a grab a bag and your bag of rice and there's your meal, which is pretty awesome. This looks good. Look, they got like a whole fried fish. You got all kinds of chili spices and chili paste and stuff. And yeah, that's how they take them to go. Just put them in a bag, just like that. Ready to rock and pick your veggies. I love this system. All right, so here we are a little bit down more by the actual grocery store. Now these are obviously a lot more like permanently fixed. But again, these weren't open during the day. It was only at night. So they're doing like nails here. Here they go, the food vendors. Um, again, kind of everything you can imagine. Sautés, fruits, the sticks. Here we got all kinds of curries. That's a pork banana curry. It sounds pretty good. I'm gonna see how much these are. Like, it's insane. I mean, like this, we got fried chicken. Like, I went and bought a whole bunch of groceries, but how cheap all this street food is. I mean, we're talking like a lot of these items, like 
a dollar, a couple dollars. This is insane. And another street that just completely transformed. Again, fruits. I mean, it's a lot of the, obviously the same stuff, but here we got some kind of desserts. We got a whole bunch of vegetables, more of those ticket things. Here they got jewelry, sautés. It's, it's truly impressive. A place is advertising mango salad. And it's just like the whole street just transformed. Like, so cool. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe. Click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. Link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out. Appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.